4.58 a.m. on February 2nd. In this video, in the cold plunge, I wanna talk about three pieces of advice that I gave to a young man who asked me how to improve his situation and standing in life. Let's get cold. Always, always dunk. Let's see if I can keep this thing honed in on me. There we go. Now we're working. So a young man approached me asking for advice on how to improve his standing in life. Really how to like break out of the cycle that he was in, 25 year old. I gave him three pieces of advice that I'll share here today. The first one, I've talked about this before, wake up early and work out. Now this confused him because he said he was asking for advice to make money, advice, career advice, etc. What I told him was that the most important thing when you're not happy with your standing in life is to figure out how to break the negative belief cycle. Figure out how to start identifying as a winner, how to get out of your own head, get out of your own way in terms of the beliefs you have about yourself. Waking up early and working out is the best way that I know to do that because it's very hard. It's so hard to wake up early, to push yourself to go move, go to the gym. Your body won't want to do it. So when you do that, even just for a week, you convince yourself that you're worthy. You convince yourself that you're the type of person that does what you say you're gonna do. That has ripple effects into every other area of life. So the first piece of advice, wake up early and work out. The second piece of advice, you have to trade free time that you otherwise have in order to build a marketable skill. Now that marketable skill could be coding, it could be design, it could be sales, it could be anything. Anything that someone will pay you for in this economy. Personally, I think sales, I think design, I think coding are really interesting ones because they're global. I constantly need people for design, for video editing, for uh, you know small engineering jobs, like they're global skills that you can geographically arbitrage as well if you need to. You could be in India, you could be in the Philippines, you could literally be Latin America, Eastern Europe, you could be anywhere and you could provide those skills to someone in an American economy or in a European economy that's going to pay you in their currency. But you need to be willing to sacrifice your free time in the near term in order to build that skill and to build it at an excellent level. I'm not talking about okay. Build it at a great level. That's not going to be fun. Nothing about changing where you are in life is fun. There's not like, the fun part is the after. The fun part is what it actually does, what it creates, the change it creates in your life. But it's not fun in the short term. You have to be willing to make that sacrifice. That was piece of advice number two. Trade your time in order to build a marketable skill that will pay you. And that's on top of your job, by the way. I should make that point. If you already have a job, I'm not talking about quit your job and take the free time to build a marketable skill. You gotta do that on weekends, you gotta do that on nights, you gotta do that early in the morning, you gotta do that during the time you would have spent hanging out with your friends. All of those things get sacrificed in the short term if you really want to truly change where you are in life. If you're really not happy with it, then you have to be unhappy enough with it that you're willing to make those sacrifices. And that's not fun advice, I'm not saying like, this is for everybody. But if you truly want to make that change, that's required. So that's piece of advice number two. Final piece of advice, live well below your means, way below your means. And take that extra money that you're saving and put it into the most simple set of investments like a Vanguard ETF, stock market tracking ETF. Uh, or a S&P 500 market ETF, something super simple. And what you're doing here is you're trying to break out of the like paycheck to paycheck cycle by creating some financial upside that compounds over the long term. 
you have to live way below your means during these years. I'm talking like you're not eating out a bunch. You're not, you know, spending a ton of money on food. You're not spending a ton of money on rent. Get down to a baseline that allows you to clip something in between what you're spending on a monthly basis and what you're earning on a monthly basis and invest that. And each month if you do that, after not too long, there's going to be a nice little egg there that's going to be compounding over the next 20, 30 years that's going to set you up financially and put you in a much better position than you would otherwise be. It's going to free you up to go after bigger opportunities in the years to come. So that's the third piece of advice. Live well below your means. Again, not fun, especially not fun in the short term because you're going to be sacrificing the fun you could have spent that money on. But if you're able to clip that and you're able to invest that money, you're going to break yourself out of the negative financial cycle as well. So those are the three pieces of advice. Wake up early and work out. That's all about how you identify. That's about a winning mentality. Winning begets winning. Spend your free time building a marketable skill that's going to pay you in the future. That's all about creating financial upside for you. And live well below your means and invest the difference. That's all about creating a safety net and creating a compounding nest egg that's going to build and break you out of that paycheck to paycheck cycle. Those three pieces of advice are the best things that I can imagine doing if you want to completely change where you are in life. If you're unhappy with your low standing or where you feel you are today, make those three changes and you'll be on a much better path. Again, none of that is fun. I'm not saying any of that is easy. I'm not saying any of that is going to be enjoyable in the short term, but it will work in the long term. I hope it helps someone out there as they're on their own journey, as they're making the changes that they need to. More power to you if you can. All right, I'm shivering all hell right now. I got to get out of here. Oof. Oh man, all right. Plan for the day. What do I have? It's Friday. Book writing, as always, this morning. And I've got, I think, just four mile easy run and an upper body pull session. So probably some deadlifts, rows, pull downs, and biceps, obviously. Gonna go get this Duncan, get to my desk get to work. As always, until next time, let's get cold.